if coefficient of x power 4 x power 5 and x power 6 of 1 plus x whole power n are in arithmetic progression then the maximum value of n is equal to and we know that coefficient of x power r in 1 plus x whole power n can be taken as directly ncr So here we can write the coefficient of x power 4 in 1 plus x whole power n can be taken as nc4 and coefficient of x power 5 can be taken as nc5 and coefficient of x power 6 we can write nc6 they are in arithmetic progression. So let us write two times of nc5 is equal to nc4 plus nc6 since we know that if a comma b comma c are in arithmetic progression then we have 2 times b is equal to a plus c or we can also take the difference between the terms are equal that's common difference so we can write 2 times nc5 is n factorial by n minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial is equal to nc4 is n factorial by n minus 4 factorial into 4 factorial plus nc6 is n factorial by n minus 6 factorial into 6 factorial since we know that ncr is equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial so here the numerator n factorial and here n factorial we can remove and in the denominator n minus 5 factorial n minus 4 and n minus 6 so n minus 4 is a larger number so this larger number and n minus 5 is the next larger number so we can convert into n minus 6 factorial so let us write that 2 upon n minus 5 factorial we can write n minus 5 into n minus 6 factorial similarly 5 factorial 4 factorial 6 factorial 4 factorial is the smallest one so 5 factorial and 6 factorial we can write in terms of 4 factorial so we can write here 5 into 4 factorial is equal to 1 upon n minus 4 factorial into 4 factorial plus 1 upon n minus 6 into the next number is n minus 5 um, n minus 6 is the smallest one so let us write here so we can add here n minus 4 into n minus 5 into n minus 6 factorial into 4 factorial plus 1 upon n minus 6 factorial into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial so here the denominator n minus 6 factorial n minus 6 factorial n minus 6 factorial we can remove and even 4 factorial 4 factorial 4 factorial we can remove so further we can write here 2 upon n minus 5 into 5 the denominator is equal to 1 upon n minus 4 into n minus 5 plus 1 upon 6 into 5 that is 6 5 is a 30 So we can also write 2 upon 5 times of n minus 5 minus 1 upon n minus 4 into n minus 5 is equal to 1 upon 30. Let's simplify this. So here the LCM is 5 into n minus 4 into n minus 5. So here n minus 4 is missing. So 2 times of n minus 4 and here 5 is missing. So divided by 5 times of n minus 4 into n minus 5 is equal to 1 upon 30 or we can write 2n minus 8 minus 5 divided by 5 times of n minus 4 into n minus 5 is equal to 1 upon 30 we can cancel here 5 6 times both the sides and simplifying we can write 2n minus 13 into 6 is equal to n minus 4 into n minus 5 we can write that is n square minus 4 and minus 5 and that is minus 9 and plus 20.
So 6 2s are 12 n minus 6 13 6 are 60 plus 18 78 is equal to n square minus 9 n plus 20 or we can also write n square minus 9 n minus 12 n plus 20 plus 78 is equal to 0. So that is n square minus 21 n plus 98 is equal to 0. And here the values we can consider. So let us simplify 98 we can write. 7 ones are 7 fours are 14 sevens are we can write. So it can be taken as n square minus 14 n minus 7 n plus 98 is equal to 0. That is n times of n minus 14 minus 7 times of n minus 14 is equal to 0. So n minus 14 into n minus 7 is equal to 0. So we are getting the two values n minus 14 is equal to 0 that is n is equal to 14 and n is equal to 7. So and the question is about the maximum value. So the maximum value is 14. The maximum value of n is 14 which is option C.